name is Jessica Tanity, and I'm a developer advocate for Facebook Open Source. Today, I'm going to be talking about CG SQL in layperson-friendly terms. Don't panic, let's go. Let's start off by talking about SQLite. SQLite is a relational database management system, and it's great because it's lightweight to set up and can manage millions and billions of chunks of data. But its programming interface is pretty verbose, which means that in practice, it's really easy to accidentally run into errors when you're making changes. And this is especially true when you're dealing with large queries with complex logic or when you're dealing with combinations of syntax. So in comes CG SQL. CG SQL comes with this compiler called CQL, which reads a schema and procedures and provides a strongly typed language with hundreds of compile time error warnings designed to prevent runtime SQL issues. So this makes it easier for engineers to generate code without having to manually verify every little change that they make. It's a great addition to the SQLite runtime system because it was designed to feel familiar to SQLite developers, but instead you get to write the approachable SQL code and it writes a C code that you could have written to do the job. If you're a person who learns best from videos, there's this awesome CG SQL video demo series by the person who made CG SQL. And if you learn best by reading, you can check out the CG SQL website, complete with all its documentation, as well as the blog post version of this video. I've linked all the resources in the description below, along with the GitHub repo. And of course, CG SQL is open source, so it's free for anyone to use and contribute to. If you'd like to see more about CG SQL on this channel, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.